good, YouTube? It's your boy, the Juggernaut of Souls, and by the thumbnail, you already know why you here. But before we get started on that, I'd like to give my bro, Red Milwaukee 414, a shout out, along with the Sneakerhead clothing line, for this beautiful one-of-one one, Make Sneaker Culture Great Again fitted hat. As y'all can see, the gold label is on that joint. It is a new era. I have the only one, period. Shout out to my bro for that, man. Um, they do have the dad hats and they do have the snapbacks, but they don't have the fitteds. And my bro was able to make it happen for me. I'm forever grateful for it. Appreciate you, bro. And man, let's get to it. As y'all know by the thumbnail, what we here for right now, Nike has been going ham, not with just the Jordans, not with just Air Maxes and everything. They've been snapping with the, the 90s basketball shoes and bringing these joints back, you know, so other people can have them and enjoy them. And, man, ultimately put them back in your collection. I grew up in that era. So for me to have these shoes again and the shoes that they are releasing and some of the shoes that I'm going to I'm going to mention in this video, some people may know about some people may have to go hit Google and do some research on them. But I'm telling you, man. In the 90s, we had them. We had them. The first shoe pretty much dropped in 2020. Nike basketball was these joints right here. This C, The Air Max 2 CB94. I don't even think it really got a release date. It released on finish line in August. Then it showed up again in September. Um, shout out to my, my bro Retro CG from the Soul Firm who was able to find my size at Hibbit Sports and have it shipped out to me. But man, this shoe right here, straight up. It wasn't just about it wasn't just about Jordans in the 90s, man. We had it all. And this is some of the stuff I'm excited about. I'm hyped about in 2020. Having something like this in hand again, being able to wear this again when these drop and just um just an ultimate, a ultimate piece to having a, a dope sneaker collection i like diversity so to have nike basketball like this man it it it's a big plus for me and you know ultimately they dropped the um the all black the triple black pair back in like october or so those sold out and i'm i don't i don't know why the nike basketball is selling out i guess because they hear some of the people in that grew up in my era mentioning shoes like this and saying, man, these are must have. And people are just buying them up and selling them. These were 160. They don't stock X 300 bucks. They don't go 300 bucks. So if you were reselling them, you probably made your money, but these weren't for resale. You know what I'm saying? I needed these joints, had to have them, had to have them in a collection and, you know, I'm going to hope, hope to get my hands on the triple black pair. But this pair right here was the pair that was needed right here. And we got another shoe that dropped that was a must have. These joints, them Air Raids, OGs, Tim Hardaway rocked these joints, bruh. And again, another shoe we had to have. Nike basketball, man. You know what I'm saying? For outdoor use only. I don't know if it... There it go. It's going to pop up on there. There we go. But again, another one. People in my era that grew up in my era, ball players, um, you know, urban community, we had these joints. The Jordan 8s was designed off these joints. You know what I'm saying? The cross strap. Man, I mean... You don't get no you don't get no better than this. They they pulled out the Urban Jungles. We got them the uh Nike Air Raid piece. Them joints drop. So, I mean, for Nike to be bringing these back to us and being able to retro these and let us get our hands on them, man. I want to see more of Nike basketball come back. I'm I'm just going to be honest. I want to see the Air Ups. Them dropped in 2014. We need them again. I want to see the um the Nike Air Bacons, which was a controversial shoe. That shoe and all the merch was pulled off of the shelves because of the way the Nike Air was designed on it. It was similar to like the Arabic um, letters for Allah. And basically, 
They pulled all that off the shelf. I think that shoe retroed in like 2013. We haven't seen that one. We need up tempos. I think the more up tempos are dropping in December or something like that. I've already seen those starting to surface. So I'm just waiting for those to come out and be in the stores in Chicago so I can get my hands on those because this right here, it wasn't about just the Jordans. It was about these right here too. And these right here too. And I got another one for y'all. Just hold that thought. Just hold that thought. Hold on one second. It wasn't just about all that. It was about, it was about, you want to talk Nike basketball. It was about these joints too. We need to see stuff like this, y'all. We need to keep bring. Hey, the same way we make conversation about having Nike drop all these J's again, man. We need to see stuff like this again, too. These were a must. I think I had these back in like sixth grade. Um, the Air Max pennies, the ones. Drop those again. I don't think we've seen the OG colorway since 2011. We need all this, man. We need these for the sneaker culture. The era, man, like when you you make people excited all over again, when Nike drops stuff like this and we get vi we get the word that stuff like this is coming out. I think these are still DS. I haven't even rocked these yet, but it's coming soon. I'm telling you, man, it's not just about the Jays with me around here, man. Uh, some of my other fellow sneakerheads and some of the other people I talk to, it's about stuff like this, stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? The Air Raids. And like I said, the Nike Air Bacons. The Air Darwins, the um, the pennies, you know what I'm saying? Like, bring all that back, the up-tempos. Bring back the first Scottie Pippen because the more up-tempos was not a signature Scottie Pippen shoe. It was just a shoe that was basically made famous by him because he rocked it. And that was not the first Scottie Pippen signature shoe. Man, we need the OG phone pauses again. Let's start bringing all that back. And... Just to see how Nike, you know, giving stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? We want to see stuff like this. If you don't, I do. You know, and I think enough of people that's like me want to see stuff like this. And just to bring the Nike basketball back. I mean, get in the comments below. Do y'all feel that Nike basketball shoes can make a comeback? And they start dropping them and they're not sitting in stores and they're actually selling out among people who really want them. Because I'm telling you, I want that 11 and a half. Let me get that because this is the stuff I grew up on. And when you see stuff like this, it brings you back to your childhood when you say, like I said, I had these back in sixth grade. So when you look at this, when I look at this shoe, it's like, man, I had these in sixth grade. I remember being in gym and you know what I'm saying? Thinking I was Jason Kidd. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And having these, them Barclays, man. I mean, just have, look at the Nike Air on the back, man. Like, come on, man. Come on. These, this right here, Nike basketball is what, what I want. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'll take this. I'll take those. I'll take those. You know what I'm saying? I'll take the Jays. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely take the Jordans. But I need stuff like this, too, Nike. So if you're watch, watching this video, hey, Nike, we need we need the Nike basketball, and we need it ASAP. Keep dropping it. I seen that the uh, the Griffies, the Freshwaters are dropping next year. That's probably going to be a double up for me. I had those in both in both OG colorways, so I need those too. You know, they dropping cross trainers, they dropping um Air Max ones in the anniversary colors. But we talking about these today. This is what we talking about: the Nike basketball man. We not we not trying to sleep on this no more, man. And this is the stuff that we asking for. This is the stuff that we want. I get I get so many people say, man, I'm tired of seeing the same old stuff over and over and over again. Why don't they drop something else? Why don't they give us something else? And when they start giving us stuff like this, sometimes it's not appreciated, but it's appreciated by people like myself. And I remember having a conversation with one of my cousins when he said, man, that stuff, he was like, them things flew off the shelf like it was a limited shoe. I mean, what's the deal with that? And I'm like, man, I guess the hype behind it 
People went crazy over seeing it was money going to be behind it, and they jumped on them, and they bought them up. And I'm, I'm just thankful to have a pair. Again, like I said, I appreciate my bro, Retro CG, from um, the Soul Firm, finding that 11 and a half in Hibbit Sports in Alabama somewhere, and basically getting it out to me, man. And this shoe ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? These ain't going nowhere. And these aren't going anywhere. So comment down below in the comments, man. Let me know what ba Nike basketball shoe y'all would like to see. Like I said, I want a pair of Air Bacons. The red and black pair with the yellow laces. I need them joints. They came out in like 2013 or so, 2014 is when they released. I need those. They only got the Nike Air on the back. And that's cool, but they don't have the uh, Arabic, you know, Nike Air on there, that symbol that kind of looked like Air, Arabic letters because it was made, they made it like kind of like flames or whatever on the back. And ultimately the shoe and all, like I said, all this merch end up getting um, recalled. I don't know if Nike destroyed all that stuff or whatever the deal was. I'm cool with just Nike Air being on the back. I'm fine with that, but I need them OG colors and them Air Bagans. I need those... Um, more up tempos in the black and white. Those are not Scotty Pippins. They were made famous by him. They were not his first signature shoe. His first signature shoe came out a little bit later down the line, and I take those too. Um, the Air Darwins, Dennis Rodman rocked those. Um, what else? The uh, Air Ups, Penny rocked those. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me get the, let me get that kind of stuff, man. Like Nike. If y'all watching this video, we need all of that. Don't sleep on us. Don't sleep on the sneaker culture. Y'all giving us J's we asking for. We want them Nike basketball shoes too. Hands down, they getting bought one way or another. We want them. If you dropping the OG colorways from the 90s, we taking all that. Let us get the pennies, uh, the, the phone posits again and the, um, the royal blue and black. Let us get those. You know what I'm saying? And man, I'm grateful to have three dope pairs from, you know, the 90s in the collection and basically being able to relive a childhood again. I'm not that old, but at the same time, these were these are what what meant, you know, what I'm saying meant a lot to me in in my early childhood, having pairs like this, having pairs like this, you know, and like this. And when we rocked our air raid, when we rocked our air raids, some of the guys rocked them loose. We rocked them loose with the, uh, you know, had the shoelaces, had the shoelaces hanging. And sometimes we would just take the strap off, boom, put one, put the, put the one strap on the one side, one strap on the other side, let them joints hang open, and that's how we rocked them. Some people rocked them cross strap like that, rocked them tight. It didn't matter. We had them. So Nike again, if you listening to this video. Man, listen, I, please drop them Nike basketball shoes. Hey, and if y'all seen this video today, comment down below what Nike basketball shoe that you would like to see from the 90s or maybe even the 80s. And see, and maybe we can get something going where Nike is hearing us and giving us what we want. So comment down below, like this video, subscribe. It's all free 99, man. It's your boy, the Juggernaut of Souls. It's been real. I just want to hit y'all with a quick Nike basketball video. I'm out of here and I'll holler at you.